What's up, Runner's Flat? Scott doing a review on the Newton Kismet. We gave you the first impressions a few months ago. This is my second or third pair now, but new color, the first one's first impression were green. If you want to know the specs on these, like how they make this become a stability shoe versus the Fate, which is neutral shoe, watch the first impressions as you go through. This is a main review just telling you how we're doing and, wh and what's going on with it. I'll tell you, you know, I'm, I am a big fan of Newton shoes at, the, at this point anyway but Newton shoes if I'm in the right one. I overpronate, so I still always try to get in a stability shoe offered from Newton. The Kismet is a great price point, $130. You're getting all the action reaction technology that uh, Newton gives you with the live lugs in the front that go in and out of chambers. You're getting a lightweight upper, one piece, super soft materials, fits like a glove, and four and a half millimeter drop shoe, but for $130 versus some of them at $170 or $175. I'm getting all the mileage that I got out of it. But for $130, it's a little bit more structured of a fill than the Motion is. The Motion, their high-end stability trainer, is a little more flexible throughout. But for someone getting into Newton and going a little lower drop than you're used to, this is a great shoe for a lot of people to try. Look at the wear and tear on there. I'm about 300 miles on this shoe. I'm getting wear and tear and one of the things with those lugs when you see it the lug wear on the front is set up for you to see if you're rolling to the inside or on the outside or you through the middle what's going on and you'll notice on mine that on my right foot I'm rolling in a little bit harder to the inside uh, that's normal but it, it gives me some stuff to work on while I'm out there training which is good also look at the wear and tear of the upper no place on here is it wearing through is it really rough is it getting thin so i've had really good luck in all the newtons i run them on trails i want run them on roads i run them on gravel paved bike path all that stuff and it's been a really good shoe always for me uh the two or three models of the kismet that i've been through already is still 500 mile shoe now i'm not getting you know crazy 750 miles on them but i am getting higher end mileage when you say three to five hundred miles I'm up near that 500 mile mark, not down around 300. So for a lightweight, low drop shoe that's, that's plenty uh, reactive for me, but gives me high mileage, doesn't break the bank to get it, this Newton Kismet is a really, really good shoe for someone that needs some stability, but still likes to go light and fast.